Greetings and welcome to this brief video introduction to the Emory General Surgery Residency Simulation Experience. My name is Dominic Papandria and I joined the surgical faculty in 2018. I am presently the Associate Director for Surgical Simulation for the Emory campuses. I helped organize the simulation curriculum throughout the academic year and it is my pleasure to share some of the highlights of that program with you today. When I first came to Emory, I was struck by the breadth and depth of the educational investment at this training program. The commitment to consistency and versatility led Emory to become one of the earliest education institutes to receive special accreditation from the American College of Surgeons. This built on the efforts of the late Dr. Skandalakis in founding the Center for Surgical Anatomy and Technique in 1984, which has since been designated a comprehensive education institute. Simulation is a large component of the center's activities. I share leadership of the simulation curriculum with some pretty amazing faculty, including our program director, Dr. Srinivasan, and Dr. Benjamin, who is at Grady Memorial Hospital. All of our general surgery residents participate in the simulation curriculum, which also serves to reinforce a strong culture of peer education. An illustration of that continuity is shown in the picture on the left, which depicts one of our graduated chiefs teaching a then junior resident who then finds himself in the role of the teacher in the next photo on the right. That resident, Matt Perez, has also graduated and continues to carry on the educational mission of Emory as a surgical fellow in Florida. In addition to broad engagement of residents across all years of training, our simulation experience occurs also on multiple sites. Our primary simulation lab is located at Emory University Hospital in the surgical education offices, which we most often refer to as the H-Wing. Although this simulation space sees the most traffic and houses our endoscopy trainer, there are sim labs in place at each of our major campuses, each hosting laparoscopic trainer boxes and other simulation tools. The Emory University School of Medicine, next door to the hospital, is where our cadaver group dissections are conducted. The school also houses the Center for Experiential Learning, which is also an official testing site for the SAGE's Fundamentals of a Laparoscopic Surgery program. And finally, residents complete cadaver testing and more on this later, at a local innovative lab near the Georgia Tech campus. Some components of our curriculum are specific to each resident's training year, such as FLS and FES, which are required for general surgery board certification. However, all PGY levels participate in some components, such as cadaver training and the anastomosis course. And our simulation activities are interspersed throughout the academic year, with breaks to allow for other events, such as the app site. In the H-Wing Lab and at the Midtown campus, we have two dedicated intuitive Da Vinci training consoles. During the intern year, residents are oriented on bedside assisting for robotic procedures and also set up with an account that tracks completion of learning modules, simulated exercises, and clinical cases. The required training modules, proficiency exercises, and case completion requirements are completed over the course of a full residency. This permits residents in their chief year to acquire a robotic certificate from the residency program. Each fall, residents participate in an anastomosis course. They are arrayed in groups to represent all training years, with each led by a chief or PGY-4 who walks the group through various anastomotic techniques. Industry representatives are available to teach individual aspects of the stapling devices that are encountered in clinical practice. Each session ends with a friendly competition with bragging rights and a modest prize awarded to the best vascular anastomosis performed by a junior resident from each group. Later in the fall, our residents participate in a cadaver curriculum. This approach uses specific maneuvers and anatomic exposures, giving residents the opportunity to practice surgical skill sets under circumstances that more closely approximate the operating room. Assigned to groups representing cross sections by training year, they first meet in review sessions as a group. Later, each team proceeds to the School of Medicine Cadaveric Lab to perform these level-specific skills with an assigned faculty member for each group. At the end of October, each resident completes a testing session at T3 Labs, in which they are video recorded performing one of the skills. Each video is then de-identified and graded by two faculty members, and the video is available for a separate review by the resident and their faculty advisor. I want to close with thanks to our fantastic residents, including Dr. West, whose 2020 presentation I've ruthlessly copied here, as well as Callie Medden, Jess Labib, Emma Crichton, and Brenda Lavasic, who have been tireless advocates for the simulation efforts here at Emory. 
Thanks also to the program staff who dedicate countless hours to orchestrate and execute this complex effort. I hope this gives you a general idea of the simulation experience at our Emory General Surgery Residency Program. Don't forget to follow us on social media and please reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.